things took a little longer than I wanted them to, but that's normally the way it is. I was hoping to get these up to the uh, mill today, and then he could just mill them up whenever he wants. Maybe I'll go up there and give him a hand doing it. Um, but uh, most likely he'll just kind of get to them when he gets to them. This particular log right here is 32 inches in diameter, and then the other ones are just a touch smaller. The outsides of the trees are rough because they were dead standing, so the bark and the sapwood and everything's the first thing to go. But you can see, I mean, as soon as you're in here, I mean, it's, it's very clear wood. This is going to be beautiful. Uh, I'm just going to have all this milled into really uh, nice wide boards. It's not going to be live edge or anything. Going to have him edge everything and uh, cut it to the max width in probably five and six quarter boards for making tabletops. Um, this one's a little soft in the center. Well, not soft, a little rotten in the center, but I don't know how far that goes up into there. Um, it's a little bit on the other side, but it's actually fairly hard. Uh, it's just missing some stuff. But I'll probably just have it milled wide here and then boards off to the side. It's just going to make best case scenario for however things go once the logs are up on the mill. Uh, lengthwise, they are about seven feet long. A uh, little over, well, no, right about seven feet because the trailer itself is seven feet and they were as about the wide as the trailer when they were coming up the ramps. So they're going to make tabletops seven feet and shorter which is uh, six and seven feet is my average size, so uh, it's perfect. Um, and it keeps them, since they're going to be so wide anyway, I don't want them too long because they'll be too heavy to handle. Uh, as far as the towing goes, the trailer does a beautiful job, but there's no brakes on this trailer yet, so that is a bit much for my truck. Uh, it did fine and everything, but it's definitely no uh, quick stopping. You really had to take it easy. Luckily, I was only about a half a mile from my house getting these logs. And I'm really looking forward uh, to doing some more of this in the future. I've done it in the past, but I was doing it with um, that little trailer right over there and pulling it with this truck. Very undersized everything. And, uh, you know, it gets kind of dangerous and just really limited. You wouldn't be able to handle stuff like this with that trailer over there. It would just be too much weight for both the trailer and my truck. So, I mean, I've got three of these logs up on this one trailer. And I think the weight distribution with where the axles are placed on this trailer is good for this type of thing as well. Uh, I am thinking about adding a weight distribution hitch to the truck um, right in this area. If you're not familiar with those, that'll help kind of level things out and distribute the weight. And I think it makes your braking work a little better as well. Um, uh, I'm adding brakes to the trailer. That's another thing to mention. I need to weld on uh, new brake flanges, and then I'm replacing the brakes with uh, bolt-on brake assembly. So I'm looking forward to all that. All that will maybe happen this week, but I'll be taking these logs up to the mill brake-free tomorrow.